Um, we've had a couple of good series this time of year over the last uh, two years. So, yeah, we, we don't have any excuses about conditions. Um, but yeah, we've got a young squad here. We've got a few guys missing, but everybody's really excited to, to get going. It's a great time of year to be playing cricket out here. So um, hopefully we've got a, a few fans coming to work. So yeah, hopefully it'll be an entertaining series. Yeah, from my side, we had a few, well, a busy few couple of weeks. But yeah, the guys are always up and rearing, ready to go. So looking forward to the series ahead. We've had some success over them for the last time last year. But yeah, we think we've taken all the boxes today. So just time to get going. Okay, it's time to get going, Asya. So we'll start with the hands up. Anybody who wants to please hands up. Yeah, so I think Jerome has some questions from media who are not able to, to make it. Um, so we'll start with the enforcement. No, sorry. Marsha, do you want to come? Yeah. Yeah, just one for Shay. Shay was 16 LBI centuries in this long time. Um, would you keep an eye on records? Are you trying to set the record against West Indian? interesting start <laughs> but um, a lot of people know it's, it's not something that I tend to focus too much on uh, the biggest thing for me is trying to win games and I, I'm sure if you check the stats most of those centuries unfortunately we're not on the winning side so the um, thing for me is just trying to win games yes records are nice to have but it's not a forefront for me Yeah, I think it is. Um, certainly as a kid growing up, you always dream of of captain in your country. So, yeah, when I got the call the other week, um, pretty easy decision to make. Um, but yeah, like I said, we've got a really young group. We've got a lot of fresh faces uh, that are new to, to not only English cricket, um, but international cricket. So, um, yeah, it's quite an exciting series for me to be able to lead the way and um, hopefully create an environment for them young boys to flourish. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously a very proud moment, but really exciting for, for the week ahead as well. We've actually got a few um, boys that people may not have, have seen a lot of. Um, obviously Jaffa's come in as um, someone with a lot of talent. Um, yeah, we, we don't have loads of leg spinners coming through, so It'll be great to see if he gets a go. Um, and also, I think John Turner, who's been in squads a lot over the last year or so. Um, yeah, he's he's impressed a, a fair few people over that year and, and not really had the, the opportunity to play. So um, he's going to get an opportunity in this series. And um, yeah, pretty excited to see how he goes. Oh, the yeah, just one more. Um, for the amount of shape that different kind of aspects, You've both got two exciting youngsters in your squad. You've got uh, Jacob Beckham, who everyone's talking about, obviously. In England, Shay, there's two languages um, in the Caribbean. Just, you've both had a chance to see it up close and personal. How, how good are you to speak? Oh, God. Uh, well, I can even speak from, from Jacob's point of view as well. I've seen him I'm playing some Barbers on the 15 cricket. I've seen a few clips of him recently. But Joel, yeah, he's shown that he belongs here. Obviously, he doesn't have much games on his belt, but from what we've seen in the next, what we've seen in the last couple of months, inclusive of CPL as well, he's shown that he's definitely got the capabilities to do well at this level. And if he gets the opportunity, I'm sure he's going to grab it. Yeah, I haven't played a lot with Jacob over the last couple of months um, in the 100 and then in the series against Australia. He's, yeah, he's an incredible talent for a, Boy, so young, he's he's taken everything in his stride, um, and I think that's probably his greatest strength is the mindset of a of a 20 year old. He's he's very mature for his age, and yeah, everybody within English talent, uh, English cricket knows his talent. Um, everybody's excited to to see him keep progressing. He's already shown what he can do in, in small glimpses, but um, yeah, I think he's going to get a bit more of a, a leading role in uh, in this series and. Yeah, look, I, I know how good he is. He's also a 20-year-old kid that, um, yeah, not everything's going to be plain sailing for him. Um, but yeah, I think as a, especially as an England cricket fan, he's, he's an excellent, exciting talent to have. And um, yeah, in all three formats as well, which is the cool thing for us. Um, Liam, obviously a lot of being captain players here, do you expect you know, the, the 
for your addition to that. So I know Joss will be here next week, but you, you're expecting all the players from the Albertians in here, and how important is it to think that England expand the play for more? Yeah, I think that's one of our goals um, in the next three weeks is to expose people to international cricket. Um, like I said before, there's a lot of people that have been in and around squads that haven't really played. Um, so that's certainly something that we're going to do. We're going to try and rotate our team as, as much as we possibly can, give people opportunities. And that's the really exciting part for me is being able to, to lead the way for some youngsters um, to be able to create an environment that they're going to come into and, and feel at home and uh, express their talent in international cricket. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of debuts over the next few weeks. Um, and yeah, I guess that's a really exciting thing for English cricket. We've got some talent coming through and it's about time uh, we sort of uh, threw them in at the deep end and, and see what they're all about. Yeah, of course, there's always a balance, but any game, professional game that any professional player plays in, it's all about winning. Um, yeah, we're not going to make any excuses about having a young squad or um, trying to give people some some opportunities. Um, the opportunities are there to win games of cricket for England. So, um, yeah, first and foremost, we're going to um, obviously be playing to win, but also be nice to, to give people a, an opportunity to experience what it's like to play international cricket. and. Yeah, that, like I've said a number of times, um, the group that I've seen over the last couple of days is is really exciting. Uh, there's some fresh faces, and it's always nice to have that around. It's yeah, it it, it almost takes you back to when you were making your debut, and um, everybody's really excited to get going. I haven't seen a lot to be honest. I, he's bowled at me a couple of times. I faced him in a couple of Roses games, I think. Um, and I think he's bowled at us a couple of times in the nets as well. Um, but certainly what I've seen uh, previously and yesterday, he looks like he's a great talent. Um, and yeah, obviously being able to bowl leg spin, it's a, it's a very special art in cricket. So um, yeah, he's still a young lad. He's, he's, he's still got a lot to learn, but to be able to come in and spend time around this group um, and also spend time around Rash will be great for him so yeah hopefully at some point over the next few weeks we'll, we'll see him out in the middle and, and see what he's got. Unfortunately no. Yeah yeah he wasn't there when I was there no. I just think that we, we find a way. I think that there's always a different buzz whether we play against England. Uh, we, we always love playing at home, so I think it's something that we always strive to, to defend home court. Um, I just think that the way we've prepped, the way we've planned, we just need to continue executing and then the rest will take care of ourselves, all the results will take care of ourselves. Anyone else is the champions Yeah, for sure. Well, we don't have the option of playing Champions Trophy this time, but we still definitely have to look ahead. We've got 2027 in our in our eyesight, but we have to take it stride by stride. It's important that we focus on each game at a time, and we understand that every single game matters because points will get us up the rankings and give us an easier chance of qualifying. Um, but yeah, we just need to make sure we focus on each game, each opposition that we play, and play our best cricket so we can win more consistently. Well, that's that's a tough one in a sense because you you got to look at individual prep along with trying to mesh that same team bond that you're trying to get. But I think as a leader, I just got to set example. There's things that I've been doing for a number of years now that a lot of the guys are seeing, and it's great to see that they've been contributing with the bat and ball as, as, as a team. But for us, I think the batters doing what they've been doing for the last, I would say, 12 months or so, even longer. Um, you can see that the, the results have been more consistent and the way they've prepped, the way we've planned, like I mentioned, as a team, I think everyone is taking it individually as well. But it's great to see Sherfane doing what he's doing. He's been working really hard for the last few years. 
and to see those rewards that he's getting, I'm very happy for him. And the same goes for Evan, he's been out for quite some time and the way he came back with the bang, this, this is a real confidence booster for all of us as batters in the team. So it's a great look for us, I think that we can use some of those positive performances that we had in Sri Lanka and transfer them here into this, this home series and try to defend home court again. He's a class act, everyone in the world knows that he's a quality player. Just, just his personality, I think, gives him that edge going out there and playing the way he does. He's such a talented batter, and then when you have that carefree mindset, and if you, you mesh those two together, then it's almost unstoppable. And you've seen in all three formats what he, what he can do. And being back in the team, I'm sure he's, he's always hungry to play for West Indies. So when he gets the opportunity, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna go good and show the world what he's capable of again. Yeah, I don't not daunting at all to be honest. Um, yeah, the young boys coming in, um, we feel like it's a great environment for them to be coming into anyways. Um, even when we're not captain, we still have a responsibility as a senior player to set examples, set the way that the young boys want to come in and play. Um, I guess the biggest thing for me in this series is just creating a, an environment and a place to play cricket where the young boys feel like they can settle in as quickly as possible. And our job as, as senior players is to try and get the younger boys up to the speeds of international cricket as quickly as possible. And um, the more we can help them, the better it is for English cricket. So um, yeah, the biggest thing for me is making sure that everybody feels at home in this environment and, and giving them the freedom uh, to go out there and, and be themselves, which ultimately should produce results for us on the pitch. Um, Shane, what was in the preparation um, with the short turnaround, given that we played this a couple of days ago? You still try to figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, a lot, a lot of sleeping, a lot of planning, a lot of thinking, more so mental rather than physical. Because as much as we like to be on, on the park, um, toning our skills and making sure that we're ready for a short turn or like that. You got to make sure you're fresh as, as fresh as possible. But yeah, we, we, we see the difficulty with that travel, but um, we can't focus on that. That's that's in the past. You got to look ahead. But I think we think we all we all ready to go tomorrow. So some recovery, one more sleep, and then we should be fine. Finally, um, this week. Yeah, well, we we understand the importance of having quality leg spinners and wrist spinners in international cricket, in cricket in general. But I think, and it's fair to say, the shortage that we had in the last few years in the West Indies, I think, is something that we got to look at. Um, Hayden has shown that he's been playing good cricket for the last couple of years and I think that the way how he's gone about his business he's been prepping well he's been planning well so I think that giving him you know the opportunity to play and express his skills I think something we have to look at and yeah wrist spin is, is, is a skill that we all tend to, to neglect sometimes in the Caribbean but I think we need to focus a little bit more on it and understand that the more we, we give him opportunities then we can get a better here in the world. Gracias.